Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today I wanted to talk to you about some stuff that I have really wasted my money on. Now this is stuff that, you know, for other people it might be cool. You know, this is stuff that just for me that I've wasted money on that I don't use anymore. It's just collecting dust and I really wish that I could get my money back for it, but I'm really kind of stuck with it. Now the first thing is, is clothing. I have spent over four and a half million dollars on clothing and I really don't know why. And one of the main things is I bought five of these outfits here at $150,000 for some un idiot reason. But, you know, you can't get your money back on clothing, so watch out when you're spending money in the stores. Now, one thing that I did waste a lot of money on was the big warehouse for the vehicle cargo. Now, for other people, this might be a good thing, but for me, because I play solo, it takes forever to fill this warehouse up and then it takes forever to sell everything out of it and by the time you're done you're like man I don't even want to mess with that warehouse anymore now I still use one of the small warehouses because I can fill that one up relatively fast do all the sales out of it and it helps out quite a bit throws a little bit extra cash my way but this big warehouse was a complete waste of money for me I have left it empty for a long time it's just been sitting there I don't even think I've ever been in it since I left it and besides this time right now since the last time I used it and I really wish I could get my money back for it so I could use it to put into other things like upgrading my equipment in my bunker. Same thing here with the biker businesses. I bought these thinking that they were going to be a great way for me to make money, but as a solo player they're really not designed that way. Now if you play with a bunch of people you can make some cash fast doing these. But for me, I just really didn't like them and I bought three of the businesses, you know, fully upgraded them so I've dumped a lot of cash into them and they're sitting empty now because I really can't stand doing the missions and it's just too time consuming for me to do this in my money making way and what really annoys me is LJT just continuously calls me even though these things are still closed down and there's no product or anything or anything in them and it's, I swear to god if I could find where he lived on the map I would burn his house down that's how annoying it is because it's like every 10 minutes he's calling me and I can't figure out a way to turn it off and it's just the biker businesses were a big letdown for me I love the clubhouse but the businesses just really weren't the thing that I liked now this is the brocade and I bought this because of what other youtubers said that this was gonna be because everybody thought that this was gonna be the MOC basically that came out with just the recent DLC but this basically was just a bus and the you carry people, they're on the outside, you'll scrape them off, it's easy to kill them. It's just, it's, it's a mess of a vehicle. It was expensive, it should never have been introduced the way it was. It should have been made the MOC the way the new one was, but I don't know, maybe they'll do something later with it. But right now it's just collecting dust. And another thing I spent an outrageous amount of money on that's just sitting there is my Hydra. I bought this when I had some ridiculous money and it just was one of those things I thought that it was going to be cool and I'm actually better at flying the laser from the military base than I am flying the Hydra. So this one really just collects dust because anytime I need a jet I just go to the military base and get one so I don't really need this one at all. And I wish I could get the cash back for this a lot. Now if I'd made this video before the gun running DLC I would say that the biggest thing that I spent money on that was kind of a waste would be my yacht. But since the gun running DLC came out, this yacht has actually helped me out a lot. Before I was just using it for, you know, doing missions and VIP work and stuff like that. Sometimes using it as a place to spawn, or I'd go there if I had a bounty, because you can sit on here with their bounty and turn on your defenses and nobody can kill you. And you'll lose the bounty real quick. But other than that, it really had no purpose for me. But now since gun running, I might park this thing right beside my bunker. I can use it for as an escape. I get to helicopters and boats whatever I need anytime it's really easy it's pretty cool I dig it so this really actually became something that I'm using a lot so I'm not so bad about that I wish they'd give us some extra stuff for it. but this is the number one thing that I bought that I have no idea why I bought this I wasted money I was like why did I buy a tugboat and it's just ridiculous I, I have no idea why I bought this and the only reason that I can think of that I did buy it was I must have been high or something like that because this thing is slow as the day is long and there's really nothing you can do with it besides just drive it around and it's so slow that it sucks. But that's the only thing. Alright, Great Witch, hope this helps you out. I'll see you next time. Peace! Smoke weed every day.